Hello, it's Sensei Austin. And first of all, I want to congratulate all the people in Rochester that passed their test. I already got to see a few pictures out of the parents. And it's uh, real cool to see what a big group you guys have and how many people are eligible to test for their yellow belt there this time around. So congratulations to all of you guys. And here in Springfield, we're going to be testing very soon as well this Saturday, in fact. And if you've never tested before, or even if you have tested, uh, this is going to be a little bit of a different experience for you. If you have tested before, you're going to see a lot of it. It's similar, but the fact that it's on a Saturday, that alone is a little different. And uh, I'll give you guys a little walkthrough real quick. So first thing, you come in, and we're still getting this set up. I set up a little bit of this. It's Thursday night still, um, you know, so I got a little bit less to set up in the morning. But we come in. You're here, and you'll still want to check in just so we have an idea. Um, this is our way of checking that you were here for that test uh, for sure. You know, so still sign in as normal as you would for class. Afterwards, you'll come down over here, and you'll see we got this table, a little bit of a work in progress, but uh, you'll see the sign. You want to fill out your testing sheet here. And what that means is you get your sheet, and we'll have these all out for your class. Uh, but on the sheet, this is what we're actually grading you on as we go through the test. And just to give you a little bit of an idea, these are the techniques. We're not going to just read it off and say go. You know, we're still going to show them and everything. But you'll want to have an idea. Um, so whenever you guys come in, you can kind of look through that a little bit. Make sure you put your name at the top, your current rank, and you also put the date. All that just so if you want to save this for future purposes, we will give this to you at the end. And that's the main purpose of the grading. Of course, you can, you could potentially fail off it. But if you're showing up to class, you're giving the test your best effort, I wouldn't worry about passing or failing. Worry about giving it your best. That's what we're here to see. Um, afterwards, you're going to keep on a hold of your test, bring it to the edge until class starts. And once class starts, once we get our groups, you're actually going to have a grading instructor assigned to you uh, uh, to actually mark those techniques as we go. So keep that with you while we'll the clipboard and we'll be going through as we go through the test, we'll be marking off how we think you're doing. E means excellent. P is passing. R just means review. You might have needed, uh, looks like maybe you weren't here for that day. You need a little bit uh, beyond just a little bit of help for the technique. That's what you'd be doing to get an R grade. Uh, but after that, uh, we come out again, we take a seat out over here on the floor. We'll have some more seating available for family parents i just got a handful of chairs out right now um but yeah we'll be out on the floor some of the test is soap some of it's going to be in lines some it's going to be with partners so a lot of fun if you guys are in our teen and adult class please bring gloves everybody should be bringing their karate uniform and their karate belt yes you do need that for your karate belt test even though we are doing uh, some of our jiu-jitsu techniques with it as well so karate uniform karate belt for teens and adults as well as our youth students uh or sorry just our teens and adults Please bring your gloves. We will be using a lot of striking techniques where they will come in handy. For our youth students, you'll want to bring in your commas. You have them. We will test you over our form we've been working on. And beyond that, just show up, have a positive attitude, and you're going to do excellent out here for this. It's normally be a little nervous for something. Anytime we're doing anything that's important, you should be a little nervous, but that nervousness is that drive you need to succeed. So keep that in check. Let us know if it's anything above and beyond normal, but we're here to help and we want to see you guys succeed. So we'll see you guys Saturday. And real quick, the testing times. I'll show this before we head off. Uh, for our teens and adults, it's going to be first 8 to 9, 30 a.m. That includes both the test and the graduation. We're going to be done giving out belts and everything at 9, 30. We have a 10 minute gap and then our youth intermediate and advanced starts 9, 45 to 11, 10 a.m. After that, another 10 minute gap for our foundation skills class, Tiny Tires Little Champs. That's our five through seven year olds. That'll be 11.20 to 12.20 p.m. And lastly, our youth beginners will be from 12.30 to, uh, uh, 12 to 1.30 p.m. And again, we hope to see you guys there. Show up just a couple minutes early so you have time to fill out your grading sheet there. All right, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys this Saturday.